Hello and welcome to the 14th video in the series making a beginner application uh, using Vue.js and Vuetify. We're actually getting quite near the end of the application now. Um, we left the last video in the state where we could select a country, select a player and then view a nice dialog with that player's data. What I'd like to do in this video is I'd like to style this dialog a bit and actually add our chart into this dialog but not with the actual player's data yet in the chart, just a placeholder chart because I'll need to split that over a couple of videos. The first thing I want to do is address this part here and I'm going to put a toolbar in this title just for the sake of putting it in, show you how to do it and make it look a little bit nicer and like the original app you saw in the first video. So toolbars you can see inside vutifyjs.com components uh, slash toolbars and if you look in the code for the first example the default example you can see how a toolbar is composed quite easily it has a title here's a space which is the space between um, the title here and then the links down the bottom here and then you've got uh, an icon some items as well pretty simple stuff to to understand so that's the kind of code we're going to put into our application now to add our toolbar into our dialog so our toolbar is actually going to include the data for selected player dot name, but we're going to actually have to put that data for selected player dot name inside our toolbar. So I'm going to make a little bit of space here. Then first thing I want to do is actually declare our toolbar, which uh, remembering the code in Vuetify is a, a V toolbar. I'm going to make it dark, give it the primary color as well, and just remember to close off the toolbar. So we've actually got one. And then inside there, what I want is a t our player data actually to be the toolbar title in this case. So again, Again, I'm just going to do that and close off the toolbar title and actually inside there I want our data for text there so we've actually got it nicely inside a toolbar so saving that then and going back into the application I should just be able to refresh load some data select a country hope we got some data and now you can see that we've got a nice blue toolbar and things look a little bit nicer as I've said previously I'm no designer it's just for the sake of doing it but you can see how we fitted a toolbar nicely inside the dialog now it's slightly tricky a bit we're going to put a graph in inside here instead of this data and then in a later video we'll actually put the correct data uh, inside the graph. There are various libraries available to um, make graphs um, in web interfaces. Um, probably one of the easiest actually is Plotly.js and in fact as I say this I'm thinking that I might actually add on to an extension of this series and show how to replicate the graph using Plotly.js but what I want to do in this video is show you actually NVD3. I've got another series open at the moment with a few videos done on NVD3. It's a really really nice graphing library and above all it's uh, open source and really really customizable it just takes a little bit of getting into um, the transitions and animations are nice and you also have some live code where you can play around with a particular graph in our case we'll look at this discrete bar chart that you want you can play around with the code and have a look at the effects and that enables you to build your graphs quite easily to get going with NVD3 what you actually need is you need to download D3, um, you need to download NVD3 and you also need a CSS file. Now I've already done that in preparation, in fact you'll have it and download for this video. You can see that uh, inside the scripts here, inside framework, I've got D3 and NVD3 already saved into files so we don't link them online. And I've already saved the NVD3 styling sheet uh, as well, sorry into scripts and then into styles here. These three files have, however we still need to link inside the code because I have haven't prepared that part so I'm going to do that now I'm just going to drop the actually I'm going to drop the MVD3 style sheet above our style sheet here so it gets um, it becomes a parent of our styles for later on and then the other thing I want to do is I want to put the script tags down the bottom of our index.html um, above our scripts.js so that we actually reference D3 and VD3. And again, I've got another series on MVD3 if you want to go into more detail, but very nice charting library. So now we've included uh, our libraries, we actually want to write some code to draw our chart. Now I'm going to separate this code out and not have it in scripts.js. I'm actually going to make a new file and I'm going to call that charts.js. Uh, I'm just going to right click and do new file and click save and call it charts.js so that we actually have something separate to put our chart functions inside. Now going back into NVD3 then, actually getting a chart up and working is very simple. I'll click on live code, go to discrete bar chart, and we've got actually everything we need here. We've got the markup in HTML, the data that we need here as a JSON, and then our chart code. So the first thing I'm going to do then is going to get our data here dot JSON. I'm just going to take this and bear it look at if you look at the format of this, it's an array with one object inside. Um, so I'm going to take this one object as an array, then just copy that, uh, call this var uh, chart data, set this then equal to the array that I've copied. What I'm going to do is take a few 
bits of the data out so it's a little bit easy for us to see during the videos on the screen it doesn't doesn't go too deep so I've got our chart data declared here the other thing I'm going to need to do is uh, declare a new function to actually draw the chart so I'm going to say var draw chart is equal to function now at the moment we won't be taking anything into this function we're just going to draw the chart with the chart data above and if I go back into NVD3 then and look at the chart code what you can see is all the code is already provided here to be able to draw our chart so it's a simple case of copying all the code here jumping back into here and pasting that code brutally and horribly inside our draw chart function the only trick is is here in the dot datum section we're supplying the data we want to use to draw our chart. I'm going to change this data for chart data so it actually knows the data to reference. All the rest I need to leave exactly the same and that's all the JavaScript we need to do actually to be able to draw our chart. Of course I need to be able to call draw chart so when I've got the open player dialog here down the bottom here I'm going to make the call to draw our chart uh, otherwise nothing will actually happen, we won't get a chart and then I need to start working on the styling and index.html. The first thing I want to do is I want to change this dialog to have a max width of 900 so it's a lot bigger so we can actually see the chart and then I need to go back into the NVD3 page and have a look at the markup. So we can see here that we've got a div with an ID of chart and inside there is an SVG and that's actually the element within, inside which our chart will be drawn. So the only HTML, HTML we actually need is this small section here to be able to draw our chart. So I'll take that div there there. and I'm going to put that div now inside this vcard-text like so and I'm actually going to rub over the selected player for now because we don't need it just tab all that along and now we have our HTML ready for drawing our chart again really really nice and really simple especially with the examples that MVD3 provide the last thing to do is just go back into NVD3 and you'll see here there's some styling saying anything um, that has the ID chart take the SVG element and give it a height of 400 pixels that seems okay to me so we're just going to open our styles.css and drop that styling down in there now I've gone quite quickly there so I'll just give a quick recap of what we've done so inside our card here inside our card text section we've got a new div and the div's ID is chart and here we've got an SVG element inside inside which inside the, uh, the div and inside this SVG element we will draw our chart I've set the max width of the dialog to 900 in the styles.css we're saying please um, make sure the height is 400 pixels and actually another thing I'm going to do is make sure the width is 100% so we occupy the full width of the dialog as well and save that file and what happens is then is when the player dialog uh, opens and we go into open player dialog here this function we call draw chart and if we go into charts.js let's have a look what draw chart does well, we call uh, as part of the MVD framework uh, add a graph and again I've got another series running on this but basically what it does is it creates a new chart of a certain type a discrete bar chart defined in the framework sets up some options in this case stagger our labels show our values now, the tooltips will come to in a minute because that's actually deprecated but I want to show you the error that comes up there and then what happens is d3 which is a drawing framework for JavaScript JavaScript selects our element with the ID chart selects the SVG element and then calls the drawing function for the chart and then we get some resizing and we return our chart from uh, our function there's also a uh, transition duration put in there as well so essentially what's happening here is we create our chart here set some options we select our element where we want to draw our chart and then we make the call to actually draw our chart it's as simple as that and that's all you need to do and the great thing about NVD3 is for every chart type there's some live example code that you can mess around with and change here live and see uh, the different things um, that happen to your charts then so if I go back to our site then and just refresh and hope I've done everything correctly and now go to load data select uh, Brazil in this case hit Marcelo and now what you see is that we get 
a nice, well not yet quite nice because there's some colouring problems, but we get a graph now from NVD3 on the screen. On the right hand side in the console you'll see that we've got a warning, tooltips has been deprecated, use uh, chart tooltip uh, dot enabled instead. I addressed this in the other series I do on NVD3, but NVD3 has been constantly updated all the time and it can sometimes be that online the code that's actually shown isn't the latest uh, version. What we need to do to get rid of that here is just to delete this uh, tooltips there, save that, go back into the site, refresh load data and select a player and now we get no error in the console and a graph up as before. So the next video then we can actually look at setting this data correctly for the player uh, that we've actually selected rather than having some fixed hard-coded data into the program. But um, otherwise I hope everything was clear and you've understood again I've got another series going with NVD3 but it's a very easy very flexible nice uh, charting library that looks nice as well uh, that you can use in your web application. So that's it for this one. Comments, questions, criticisms, welcome as always on YouTube.